In this vCluster tips, we're gonna take a look at how to deploy a virtual cluster using Argo CD. There's a bunch of different ways you can deploy a virtual cluster. We've shown Terraform, we've shown kubectl, we've shown the vCluster CLI. And today we're gonna to go ahead and take a look at how to set it up with Argo CD. Super easy, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna get started in our documentation and we're gonna take a look at the deploy vCluster. So this is after you've installed the vCluster CLI and all of that. So there's multiple options to deploy vCluster. You've got the vCluster CLI, Helm, kubectl, Terraform, Argo CD, and Cluster API. We're going to take a look at Argo CD today. So with this, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need the vCluster YAML values. You're going to need a myvcluster.yaml uh, file for your application for Argo CD. And uh, we're going to use this as a uh, reference. So we're going to start out with this file here, and we're going to copy it over to VS Code, and we're going to make a couple of changes. Like we want to name our vCluster something different and uh, a couple of other things. So let's go ahead and go over to VS Code. All right, now here's an example in VS Code. What we've done is we've changed the name. We have changed the namespace. Uh, we made a couple of updates to the values and we also added the create namespace option under sync policy. So if the namespace isn't there already, it'll go ahead and create it. So the values file is basically the vCluster YAML file. What we're doing is we're going to define the control plane information. We're going to uh, say what we want to sync and configure ingress and all that. So ingress is enabled. We've told it the host is demo.vcluster.local. We've told it that the ingress class name is nginx. If you've got a default ingress class already configured, you might not have to set this up, but I have uh, Nginx set up as the ingress class, so I'm making sure that I define that here. And then you got to add the proxy extra sand for demo vcluster.local, and then make sure you're syncing at least ingress uh, to the host. Uh, you can sync from the host. You can actually see the ingress class within the virtual cluster too, which is what I've configured here. But uh, this is a pretty basic example of how you would set up a virtual cluster so that you can access the API over a host name. And also when you create applications within the virtual cluster, you're able to synchronize the ingress to the host cluster. So let's copy this. We'll go over to Argo CD and we'll go ahead and create an application. All right, so create application. We're going to edit it as YAML. That way we can just paste it in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and paste what we just copied over here. We'll save it. It's the same information that we we're showing off in VS Code, and then we'll go ahead and automatically sync this and create it. That way it goes ahead and gets started creating as soon as we hit create. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So now a bunch of the resources are being created. It'll take about a minute or two, sometimes less, to get this created. Uh, and then once it's done, what we'll do is go ahead and take a look at the command line and uh, run like a vCluster list. All right, so you can see all the resources are getting created here. You can drill down into them and see what all is created with a virtual cluster. But once it's done, like I said, we'll go ahead and pop over. All right, looks like everything has been created and the sync status is okay. So let's go ahead and hop over to the command line. So we'll run vCluster list just to show the demo vCluster that we just created. And then what we're gonna do is connect to it so that we can download the kube config. All right, download the kube config. Now what we're gonna do is use that kube config to list the namespaces. That way we can show that this was created. It is a virtual cluster. And then let's go ahead and get namespaces on the base cluster just to show it's different. And then if we look at our context, we've got default. We didn't update our context or anything like that. We just downloaded the kube config so that we can make updates. Now this example is in GitHub. So you can head to the link below in the description to go take a look. And if you want to figure out how to get the kube config and information uh, programmatically, we have another video on how to get the kube config. So, and that video should be recommended at the end of this video. So you can get the kube config and then give that information to your users if you want to deploy a cluster and give access to them or use that kube config so that you can automatically go ahead and start deploying into this virtual cluster. Thank you for checking out this quick Argo CD getting started video for vCluster tips. We're trying to create videos that will inform and educate users on how they can get started. That way they can get up to speed with vCluster a lot faster. And then we'll start showing off some more uh, advanced, advanced examples and stuff in videos, webinars, and that kind of stuff. If there's something that you want to see or there's something that you're having issues with, comment on this video or join our Slack, slack.loft.sh, and let us know. Join the uh, vCluster channel and you can reach out to me or you can just post a question uh, in the channel and you should get a response. But thank you so much. I hope you have fun deploying with Argo CD. And if you have any cool examples that you want us to take a look at or maybe make a video about, let me know. Thanks. Bye.